one of the things that I always uh, teach people to do when they're creating designs, either by digitizing them or just uh, merging designs in to get them ready to stitch somewhere, is teach them how to measure objects using the ruler. So once you bring in a design, you always want to measure things. And so in this video, we're going to talk about the different ways that you can determine the size of things um, and measure things just so you can better prepare your projects. So I'm going to go ahead and open a couple things here. First, I'm going to bring in a JPEG file. So this is an image file and you can see there's no properties here. I can turn the view on and off. It is an, an actual image. Next, I'm going to bring in a design file and you'll see it loaded in here. It's that same design is here, just not an image of the stitched out version. And then I'm going to bring in a piece of this artwork here. So whenever you're bringing something in, let's focus on this design first, you want to know what the size is. So the first thing that you can do is you can you can go to um, like edit and do select all that'll select everything and from here you'll see as long as you have this turned on you'll be able to see the dimensions of a design and right now it's in millimeters and the reason it's in millimeters is because my ruler across the top and side are set in millimeters as well so if I want to know what the size this is in inches all I need to do is right mouse click on the ruler and choose inches. And now it'll change and it lets me know that it's four inches by 3.81 inches. So let me go ahead and put this back to millimeters or the metric. And the reason that I'm going to do that is I want to show you something else that we can do. So if for some reason you don't have this turned on, you can turn uh, this on in your preferences. So program preferences allows you to view um, and under the view tab you have show selection controls and draw selection size right here and those are things that you'll want to have turned on. Let me go ahead and hit cancel here and so let's say I select this design I don't have have that turned on I can't remember how to turn it on you can always go into your properties box and go to the last uh, tab here under transform and it's going to show you the size of the design right here now if you want to see what this is in inches you can always go up to the ruler like I just showed you a second ago or you can just click right here in the properties box for inches and you'll see that it changes. So I don't necessarily have to change my ruler in from metric into inches in order to see the size. It's just I would need to go to the properties box to view it that way. And so that is just uh, something that you can you can do as well for determining the size of objects. Now the other thing that we can often do is utilize the ruler and I use this all the time when I bring a design in to measure how wide objects are so that I can determine what type of uh, stitch I'm going to use when I digitize it so the ruler how it works is you just select it and you'll click and drag and as I click and drag you can see that it says in distance and it says in millimeters there and the reason it's in millimeters again is because I have millimeters up here. If I'm measuring a design that I'm going to be digitizing, I'm always in metric. But sometimes, you know, you really want to see the inches. And so you can just choose inches. And now when I go with a ruler, it'll show me the distance in inches. So that's how that ruler works. And so how I utilize it is in a design like this that is artwork that's not stitches is I will use this ruler I will put it in metric and I will click and drag the width of an area like this and you'll see that it says it's 1.8 millimeters and then it also gives a tip it says use a satin 
So this is going to let me know just by um, checking the dimensions of this area. It's going to let me know what type of stitch I need to use if I'm going to digitize it. And so the ruler, how it comes in handy is this is the way you're going to determine what you need to use. If I just select it, it's going to give me the overall size of it, but that's not what I need to measure. I need to measure the width of the object so that I know what type of stitch to use. So if I go back to this ruler again, I'm always going to be going the width. If I want stitches to be going left to right here and follow this shape, I will just go from one side to the other. And it says it's 6.2 millimeters. It says tip, you can use a satin. Okay, so if I go to this one and I go across, it says 7.4 millimeters, tip use a satin. 7.4, and if I come over to this one and I'm going, I'm looking at the widest kind of point in the direction the stitches will go. So I'd probably come down to here and just drag across and it says 15.2 millimeters. Definitely gonna use a fill stitch. If I'm looking at this area, this lighter green, Again, it's going to be 34 millimeters, definitely going to be a fill stitch. But that's how you can measure things. And But the important thing is, is to always resize the artwork into the size that you're going to stitch it out or digitize it at. So, for instance, I'm selecting everything in this design. And you, I'm going to go in here and choose inches. And you can see that it says it's 1.43 inches. Well... I might want this to be a little bit bigger than that, right? So I could come over here and I could choose, I want it to be three inches and select it. And now I would need to go in and measure everything again. And I would have to measure everything again because I've resized it. So that's why it's so important when you open a design, like we've just talked about the different ways you can open it. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have the design at the size that you want it. The, that you want to create it at and because now if I come in and measure and I go across here it's saying use a fill stitch before it was saying use a satin but that was because I didn't have it at the size that I wanted to digitize it at so it's very important to resize it so you want to know what the dimensions are and then the ruler will help you determine the size of each shape and what type of stitch you need to use for it and so the reason I opened up this image file is because when you're dealing with an image if I select this you can see that this one goes all the way to the edge a lot of images that you bring in are not cropped this is what we like to call it where the edges are, might be up higher and so when we look at it an image and we select it and we're we come into here a lot of times it'll say the size of it but it's going all the way to the edge of this box and if there's white space in between that's included in the measurement so one of the things that you can do with images that's really just a kind of a, a cool feature and I want to get back into it like this I can't just select it I have to choose this backdrop tool um, and once I do, it becomes activated, right? So if I go back here, if I try to right click, you can see I don't have any options. If I come over here, now if I right click, I have options because it's selected. So when you're working with images, there's a number of things that you can do that are really nice features. And first of all, you can right click and you can define the scale. So if you have a, a lot of white space, you can actually define the scale of something very simple. And what I mean by that is you can say, if you know that you want the butterfly from here to here to be four inches, because this is like kind of, if you rotated it, you would have that be four inches wide you can do that simply by first making sure that your ruler is set to inches second right click define scale and this tool allows you to click 
and drag across an area like so I'm going to the, the parts where I think it's the widest on both ends and I'll release the mouse click and now it says it's 24 inches I can just type in 4 and hit OK and it's going to resize that design or that image so now that it's 4 inches wide now let's say that I was going to digitize this and I want it to be more straight there's also a tool to help you straighten an image as well so if I right click I can go to define horizon click on it and if I want this to be straight right here I can just click and drag across here and it's going to straighten it up and see it's not quite straight enough so let me just click this bottom and go to this bottom here oh I did scale sorry define horizon You see, I can straighten that right up. So it's a really handy tool um, that you can use to straighten that bottom up. You can straighten the top up, however you want to do it. If I wanted these to be the same height, I could right click and say, okay, I want to go from here to here. And it's going to rotate the image according to that line I created. That becomes the new horizon. So working with images, you have to utilize tools like that. If I right click I can show you some more again I have this selected so I can load a backdrop I can edit a backdrop um, which we won't get into here I can come over the properties box and I can change the the height and width but remember like like I discussed a, a few minutes ago sometimes you have extra space here right so now that I rotated the design and I rescaled it now I have a lot of this white space so if I want this to be four inches wide and I come in and I choose four and hit apply and I come back and I measure this it's only 3.2 and the reason is is because it's four inches from here to here okay so that's where these tools come in of defined scale that I can come right back in, click and drag across an area, type in four, hit OK. Now the image is four inches wide. So I wanted to take the time to show you some of these options because it is really important to know how to measure objects using not only the, the ruler here that allows you to see how wide a specific area is or how long but also how to select things and and view that in the properties box to see the size right here in the transform and also just selecting everything and seeing the dimensions around the edge and it's just important to know that a lot of these tools work with the ruler going across the design page and you simply to change it from inches to millimeters you just right click and choose metric instead of inches and it changes if I want to go back to inches I right click and go to inches that is the fastest way to change the units and it's very simple to do so that's the different ways that you can measure objects and I hope that that was helpful and you might want to watch it again if you work with backdrops a lot um, because those tools are available and one last thing about backdrops there is whenever you have one in the software there is this icon that lets you turn it on and off so it's only available when an image is loaded in a design does not work with things like artwork here um, that's just simply to work with backdrop images, so like photographs. Hope this video was helpful, and we'll see you in the next one.